Xiaomi has launched its third Android One smartphone, and it's called the Mi A3. Now, this smartphone is the successor of the Mi A2, which was one of the best camera smartphones in the sub 20,000 rupee segment at its time. But it had a few major shortcomings. Notably, it was missing on the 3.5mm headphone jack and the storage wasn't expandable. Now, the Mi A3 has both of them, but has Xiaomi skimmed out on anything else? Well, we put the Mi A3 to the test to find out. Now, before we go ahead with the full review of the Mi A3, be sure to subscribe to the Gadgets360 YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so that you're the first to know when we have a new video. The Xiaomi Mi A3 has a glass sandwich design compared to the metal-clad Mi A2. There is Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the front and back, as well as on the camera module. The screen has a dewdrop notch at the top, which houses the selfie camera. The Mi A3 has thin bezels on the sides, but the ones at the top and the bottom are comparatively thicker. The Mi A3's in-display fingerprint scanner is positioned slightly lower when compared to some of the other smartphones. However, it is convenient to use and unlocks the phone quickly. Xiaomi has opted for a plastic frame on the Mi A3, which was finished in chrome on our more than white unit. At the top, it has a 3.5mm headphone jack, secondary microphone, and an IR emitter, which can be used to control IR-based appliances. Surprisingly, there is no app to use the IR emitter with, so you will have to download one yourself. The Mi A3 has a USB Type-C port at the bottom with two grills, though only the one on the right is a loudspeaker. Xiaomi has positioned the power and volume buttons on the right side, and these are easy to reach. The dual hybrid SIM tray is on the left side of the device. The Xiaomi Mi A3 is powered by the Snapdragon 665 SoC, which we've also just seen in the recently launched Realme 5. There are two variants of the Mi A3, one with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, and the one we've reviewed with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Xiaomi touts UFS 2.1 storage for the Mi A3. One thing that came as a surprise to us was the HD Plus panel on the Mi A3. It was surprising because its predecessor, the Mi A1 and the Mi A2, both had full HD Plus panels. Yes, the Mi A3 uses a 6.08 inch AMOLED panel, but you can see pixelation while reading text on the device because its density is less than 300 pixels per inch. We did not find any way to adjust the screen color output, which we found to be boosted too much for our liking. The panel has adequate brightness and is legible outdoors, but at times it wasn't easy to view it under direct sunlight. Since the Mi A3 is a part of the Android One program, it runs stock Android instead of Mi UI. There's no bloatware pre-installed, which means no spammy notifications. The device will receive major Android OS updates for two years and security updates for three years. While using the Mi A3, we did not face any lag or stutter and the Snapdragon 665 in the phone could run apps without any issues. Since we had the 6GB RAM variant of the Mi A3, we could multitask easily without having to kill apps in the background. We played PUBG Mobile and found that it defaulted to the low quality preset with the graphics set to smooth and frame rate set to medium. We bumped the graphic quality up to balance and the Mi A3 could still play the game without any stutter or lag. After playing the game for 30 minutes, we noticed that the phone was slightly warm to the touch and had registered a 10% battery drop. The Xiaomi Mi A3 packs in a 4030mAh battery and it delivers good battery life compared to the Mi A2. In our HD video loop test, the Mi A3 went on for 16 hours and 21 minutes. With our regular usage, which consisted of running all benchmarks, taking photos and videos and using an active WhatsApp account, each full charge lasted us about a day and a half. The supplied 10 watt charger managed to take the Mi A3 to 27% in 30 minutes and to 54% in an hour. This phone supports 18 watt fast charging, but the faster charger is sold separately. Xiaomi has gone with a triple camera setup on the Mi A3. There's a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor for the primary camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle sensor with a 118 degree field of view, and the third one is a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Sony IMX586 sensor is also found on premium smartphones like the OnePlus 7 and the Redmi K20 Pro. There is a 48 megapixel mode that lets you take shots at the sensor's full resolution 
but the regular photo mode returns 12 megapixel pixel bin photos for better clarity. Photos taken in daylight had good details. The phone managed to lock focus quickly and set the exposure right. Objects at a distance were recognizable and text was also legible. However, the Mi A3 does not do HDR very well, lifting blacks a bit too aggressively. This throws the contrast of the photos off, causing them to look artificial. The wide-angle sensor helps capture wider frames, but you also lose out on details when compared to shots taken with a primary sensor. Taking macro shots on the Mi A3 wasn't easy as it was a little slow to focus. Occasionally, we also had to move back in order to help the phone focus better. When the Mi A3 does manage that, it takes very good shots. It managed good separation between the subject and the background and reproduced details well. The portrait mode lets you adjust the level of background blur before you take a shot. The phone managed good edge detection and accurate colors in this mode. In low light, the Mi A3 delivers good shots as long as you are patient. It locks focus quickly but is still slow to capture the image. It took slightly longer to take a shot than we anticipated, sometimes resulting in motion blur. We had to stay perfectly still for a while after hitting the shutter button to ensure that the image was sharp. Low light shots had good detail and noise was under control. Switching the Mi A3 to night mode resulted in brighter images with better details. Selfies taken outdoors had good detail and the subjects were correctly exposed. For selfie portraits, the phone managed good edge detection and did give us the option to set the level of blur. In low light, we had to keep the phone steady longer than we usually do to ensure a sharp shot. Selfies taken in low light had good detail and were well exposed. Video recording tops out at 4K for the primary camera and 1080p for the selfie shooter. There is video stabilization when shooting at 1080p with a primary rear camera and the output was well stabilized. In low light, a shimmer effect was visible and there's no stabilization when shooting at 4K or using the selfie camera. Two steps forward, one step back is the best way to describe Xiaomi's strategy with the Mi A3. The company did bring back the 3.5mm headphone jack and expandable storage but dropped the screen resolution down to HD+. The new Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 is a capable processor and delivers good performance for the price. The Mi A3 also benefits from a bigger battery and is capable of lasting longer than its predecessor on a single charge. The camera performance is quite strong for a phone at this price level, helping it stand out. At its starting price of 12,999 rupees, the Mi A3 does not offer the same kind of value for money as some of the other smartphones. The Realme 5 with the same processor starts at 9,999 rupees. And if you value performance over camera quality, then Xiaomi's own Redmi Note 7 Pro has a more powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 SoC and is within reach at 13,999 rupees. The Mi A3 will then only appeal to people who really value the stock Android experience and want good camera performance without breaking the bank. And for that particular segment, the Mi A3 is currently the best that is in the market. So that was our review of the Xiaomi Mi A3. What do you guys think about the smartphone? Let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.